You know, one thing black kids don't need is a reenactment of slavery. What is the damn purpose in that? You know, this is all the more reason why these primarily white female teachers need to get out of the black neighborhood. Go teach your own kids, go mess them up. Ladies and gentlemen, it makes no sense for the majority of the teachers in the black community to be white females. Black men and women graduate every damn year from college and universities around this country that are fully capable of teaching students. The problem is we're not holding their feet to the fire on this. If we were in demanding an explanation for why all these white female teachers are here. We know they're there to sabotage, but we need them to answer and not let up, not let them get off the hook with some old scampy ass answer. The bottom line is we got record number of black women graduating from colleges all around this country. Black men are graduating too. Make them justify all of these white female teachers. I promise you, they won't be able to do it. There is no reason why the teachers don't reflect the community. And until we fix this problem, you're going to see all of this slave reenactment and slave auctions and picking cotton and singing songs. You're going to keep seeing these white teachers doing this. I did one this past um, Black History Month. Some gym teacher set up an obstacle course and had the black kids run through. And then after that, the white students talking about runaway slaves. Our teacher. Oh, this makes me mad. Our children don't need no goddamn lesson like that. It's so they can get off on this stuff. And not only, ladies and gentlemen, is this happening in public schools, it's happening in the private schools too, where you are paying money for your children to be there and they're still doing this stuff. The problem is these white teachers that are all up in these black schools and these, these private schools that are doing this stuff. Why do we have to imagine slavery? Because we ain't going back to that bullshit again. I don't care what fantasies you're having about it. We ain't going back. So here we go. Black students were cast as slaves in New York. Teachers mock auction state fines. A private school teacher in Westchester County placed imaginary chains on black students' necks, wrists, and ankles and urged white classmates to bid on them. We don't need lessons like that. So this happened, y'all, in Rockville, um, I'm sorry, Bronxville, New York. And this was a fifth grade class. And of course, you know, it had a negative effect on those black children. Rightfully so. You can understand why. And, you know, the bottom line is if you are a good teacher, you would be able to teach slavery without all of these reenactments. The only reason why these reenactments are being done is because these white teachers are getting off on it. And so are the white students. It's sick. And it shouldn't be happening. And any black parent that had your children in this school, you should have been raising all kinds of hell. So this, this was so bad, y'all, the state attorney general had to step in on this. And their findings was, you know, when they looked into the probe, this happened in March at the chapel school 
and said the school has agreed to diversify its staff and student body. Well, what's the reason why it wasn't in the first place? Just like, what's the reason why it's diverse in the Black community? It really should be predominantly Black. But having all of these white female teachers, this is a load of garbage. In 2019, we're still looking at this shit. So school enrolled students at pre-kindergarten through eighth grade, 43% are minorities, according to the school. Okay, so if you have that many minority, as you put it, students, where are the minority teachers? As part of the agreement, the school has hired a chief diversity officer approved by State Attorney General Letitia James. Every young person, regardless of race, deserves the chance to attend school free of harassment, bias, and discrimination, James said in a statement. Lessons designed to separate children on the basis of races have no place in New York classrooms, but it's happening in classrooms all around this country. We see these stories every single year. Every year we're seeing these stories. All right, so they agreed to hire a more diverse staff. So it, it, it takes an incident before they make a move. You just don't do this naturally? That says a lot about that school and many of them around the country. Okay, so in March, a mother of the student at the school in Westchester County, about 15 miles north of Manhattan, said a white teacher allowed white students to bid on and buy black students who were to pretend they were slaves. James said Wednesday that the office investigation found that in two separate fifth grade social study classes, a teacher asked all of the African-American students to raise their hands, then instructed them to exit the classroom and stand in the hallway. The teacher then placed imaginary chains and shackles on these students' necks, wrists, and ankles and had them walk back into the classroom. At that point, the teacher instructed the African-American students to line up against the wall and then proceeded to conduct a simulated auction of the African-American students in front of the class. So they had to stand there and be humiliated by being bitted on. Ladies and gentlemen, I had a teacher that tried to do that to me and I refused to do it. I was not gonna stand in front of a classroom and be bitted on. In fact, um, I got sent to the office, <laughs> everything, because I wouldn't cooperate. I'm not letting anybody bid on me, real or pretend, ain't happening. So uh, the investigation found that the teacher's reenactment in the two classes had a profoundly negative effect on all of the students present, especially the African-American students and the school community at large, James said. Following the reenactment, the teacher, um, the school terminated the teacher's employment. So this one teacher did this with two different classrooms. You know, instead of saying that you don't support this kind of behavior, why don't you hire people that don't have that kind of behavior from the jump? So I'm glad there were parental complaints and all, but I'm sorry, parents, you just gonna have to take this a step further. Now, if they claim they are gonna have a diverse staff, make sure they hire plenty of black teachers and not try to get away with hiring one or two because they play that game too. Oh, well, we got one. Oh, we got two. No, it ain't one or two of us out in the damn public and it shouldn't be one or two of us in these schools. So don't let them get away with that. Too many of these companies and, and businesses around the country get away with that. Oh, they got 
uh, a whole big staff of, you see all these white people and, and one or two black people. When you walk out in public, do you see one or two black people? No, you see plenty. We're out here, whether you like it or not, we're here. Okay, so they're developing a staff diversification plan for increasing minority presence among faculty and retain a diversity uh, consultant for help educating students and school employees about racial and ethnic diversity in educational settings. So this happened, y'all, at a school where the parents pay for, up to $14,000 a year. So it just go to show you, it doesn't matter whether you place your child in a free public school. Well, it's not really free because you, you're paying your tax dollars towards it or a private school. These things are still occurring and it should not be like this. You know, our kids are putting up with a lot of bullshit these days and I don't agree with a lot of the things that are going on in education. But, you know, those things can't change unless, unless we, as a whole, start lifting our voices up about it. You are paying taxpayer money, but none of the teachers hardly look like you. That needs to be in question. You know how many black men and women are graduating every single year? A lot. There is no excuse for it anymore. They couldn't justify it on their mama's life. They couldn't justify that stuff to you. Trust me, they can't. You know, the only thing they can do is the typical thing when they know they can't fight you on something. Yo, oasis, yo, oasis. That's the best they can do. That's it. You know, woo, this makes my blood boil, y'all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.